Hi everybody, Captain Bart One here. Uh, I'm going to do a long-term review of my everyday carry knife, my EDC blade. It is the Blade Tech Ridgeback. Let's see if I can get that and not get the shine. You can see the Blade Tech there. This was a Greg Light foot design. I've been carrying this knife for almost four and a half years and it's currently out of production um, if you guys at Blade Tech are listening bring this knife back it is awesome <clears throat> uh, a little a few of the specs on it it's about eight and a half inches overall with a three and a half inch long blade slash cutting surface um, S30V stainless for the blade titanium frame titanium clip G10 scales and there's what it looks like on the clip side. There's what it looks like. Let's use the other hand. On the not clip side. Now I'm left handed, that's why it's set up the way it's set up. It is a liner lock. See. It is a liner lock. Has a very slight kind of a swedge built up here. It's not pronounced, and you would have to grind the back side off to get it double edged, and I, that doesn't appeal to me at all. But there it sits. Uh, I believe it was designed as a hunting knife. I just like it as its spear point. It's uh, it just really begs to be used. The only modification I have made to it, if you look right here, there's a thumb ramp. Uh, like jimping on the frame. Let's see if I can make that up here. There it is. Right here. And there was a thumb ramp that went up the blade here. And that made very uncomfortable pocket carry, so I got just a little prodigious with the bench grinder, just took that off. Doesn't affect anything on how the blade handles. Now I gotta say. I've carried this blade four and a half years, and it is a machine. Um, to be quite honest, it begs to be fed raw meat. Um, I've never had it rock dull uh, when I got it, and it just was a little less sharp. Maybe a half dozen passes on a fine diamond, and she's right back to almost razor. Um, I take it out in the woods with me, it rides in my pocket religiously. I did change my blade very briefly to a Benchmade 583 Barrage Tonto and I didn't care for the blade as much I think because I have so many years invested in this unit here and uh, I have subsequently gotten rid of the Benchmade and it's nothing against Benchmade. I know there's a lot of people that love Benchmade um, their construction and all very top-notch this just seems, this knife speaks to me when I use it, and I really like it a lot. Um, I'm not sure I'd get rid of it. Uh, as I remember, the price point was something on the order of about 279 or 300 but, you know, titanium, G10, S30V, you're going to have that. Um, like I said, it's a plain edge. I don't care for serrated unless I am working in a marine environment where I'm going to be cutting line. Um, I do carry a Leatherman, so that base is covered that way. But normally on my, quote, working, unquote, knife, always a plain edge. And that's completely personal and a whole other kettle of fish that I'm not going to jump in with at this uh, point in time here. <clears throat> I would like to uh, like to thank everyone for the subscriptions. They're, they are... Everyone, there are people who keep subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. I, uh, I thank everyone for watching. Uh, if you have ideas, I'm willing to listen. I have uh, nothing but time on my hands these days, folks. So, uh, Once again, uh, any questions or comments, feel free to shoot them down here, and I'll be happy to answer. And uh, until I get to speak to you guys again, this is Captain Bart standing by.